Hello everybody, and welcome back to the lawn mowing service here in Farming Simulator 22. We have a lot planned, a lot in store, and I have a lot to show you guys, so let's get into it. Alright guys, so you're probably wondering, Nick, what the hell is all that over there? Let's hop in the ram and I'll show you. I spent quite a bit of money, and you're about to see all that 200k go here fairly shortly. We have, uh, taxes, uh, ouch, and we also have to... Uh, going to expand the fleet today and i'm going to be replacing the, the beloved dodge ram with a uh, pretty solid work truck oops hit the wrong button all right so we built two huge shop storage areas uh this one is more than likely going to be a winter storage area for bigger vehicles but in here right now i'll show you guys our knockoff john deere zero turn is unfortunately out of out 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 of commission uh despite with it's unfortunately out of commission the the job that we did in the the uh the mrs knight's house destroyed this machine so uh sadly we have to rely on some push mowers for this episode and i'm not looking forward to it but that's okay unfortunately this machine's gonna be going i also want to show you what's over here so a buddy of mine asked me if he could store his lifted ford here and i was like sure man go for it so for now this truck's gonna be in here um the plan for the winter we're gonna get a few big plows in here and uh, we're gonna be going full force through the entire year that stink bug scared me, guys. That's why I'm a little at a big fear of those. Landed on my hand and I just about screamed. So, how my adrenaline's pumping? But let's go show you what we're going to be running with today. Um, yeah. We're going to be running with the Honda. I don't know, remember the exact name of it. Oh, it's right there in the bottom corner. We're going to be running with the Honda HRC216 push mower today. <laughs> we're going to go uh, out to a job that I took um when i wasn't vlogging for you guys get in the truck open the back for you and start it up oh, i'm a little disjointed now house right next to mrs knight the smaller yard um they asked us to can't get it there we go they asked us to come by and so we gotta move this up just her at her neighbor called me up last night around 11 at 11 p.m yeah i know kind of late for me but what can you do Actually, I have to work in all day long. I gotta go inside to turn the to close of this. I'm still learning the controls uh, for for this. Uh, oh, I'm getting locked in. No, no, no. Okay, that's fine. I remember, I have to push the truck every once in a while. Um, yeah, she called me around 11 p.m. and uh, definitely wasn't expecting it. it. Scared me tremendously. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't know why. Don't worry about that. You know the. The dust, the, uh, the the Honda the Honda mower is a little weird. <laughs> it just likes to spew dust. They're old. I'll put it I'll put it very simply. They're quite old. We got them. I say we. I haven't hired anyone else yet. It's just me doing this stuff. But anyway, I'll finish off my story. She wanted me to come by and do the front of her yard, and then we have a bigger house to do after this. That, actually, the one right in front of us, right up there. Not that one. That one right there to the to the right. Well, to our to our left now, right there. Uh, we'll come back and do that one. Hopefully by then we'll uh, feel, feel the need to pull the trigger on a uh, a new zero turn and hopefully ooh, I don't know I'm a little worried you know, we were we had such a, a good start to our company and now kind of have a bit of a setback after losing the the uh, the knockoff John Deere but let's uh, go ahead and get unloaded here had a little bit of an interruption a phone call that I had to take couldn't put that on on video for you sometimes those private conversations need to be kept private just drop this over the fence and then skip it a jump oh there we go all right let's get this going this is this is not an easy mower oh check for rocks and everything else i didn't even get a, let me ask how much i should quote her i'm gonna quote her real quick and then we'll start okay so i misunderstood what she was asking she wants us to mow specific specifically this patch of grass right here which should take all of 10 minutes so let's go ahead and drag the mower over here all right it's time to get mowing my friends we're not there we go so i'm not sure why she wants just this one section done i ain't gonna complain i wish i had my one my zero turn but uh that's what you get when you buy am i stuck that's what you get for buying a, a zero turn lawnmower at costco don't do that i guess i'm taking the bushes out with this too that doesn't seem like it would actually happen i'm gonna have to get one of those what is it called pick up all of the grass clippings oh i'm gonna make people upset <laughs> let's get this finished up 
And then we have actually, I think today is a perfect day to reinforce the fleet and start hiring out some employees, get some jobs done. It's been one, it's been, it's been one full day since we started this company and I'm ready to expand, ready to spend every penny that I have in my bank account. And we're going to, even though taxes are going to hit, we're going to buy a truck and a lawnmower today and maybe even a trailer. All right. We're supposed to not take out, we're taking out these bushes. She didn't really want all that cut, but I'm going to do it because I'm a nice guy and I'm not going to charge her anymore. She's a very sweet old lady and we don't want to overcharge the old lady we want her we want her to keep calling that's what we're gonna do we're gonna give her a nice deal do some extra work for her and uh we'll come back when we have more equipment and uh we'll uh we'll take on her back garden her backyard i'm not british i don't know why i said that garden well, who am i oh uh, all righty just a few more spots here and uh we're done Did i hit that spot no yeah we might as well we need to get a weed whacker we could do the backyard for her for free but uh yeah this is a job that's gonna cost cost it's gonna cost a lot let's go ahead and uh oh her drive i'm an idiot and shut down this mower i'll grab the truck and bring it over here then we'll go collect our muns perfect gotta keep that open because we gotta throw it back in the back perfect we'll go talk to her um yeah we're loaded up all right let's go get our payment from our sweet old lady friend here all right ma'am we're all done uh, i think we for that i'm okay with 75 dollars thank you very much all right now that we got our pay let's head over to the dealer here pick up a trailer look at the new delivery of gmc sierras that they got in stock they're supposed to have five or six uh, a few that are diesel a few that are gas so let's check them out and maybe we'll pull the trigger today i don't necessarily want to get fully rid of the ram but i definitely want to weigh my options here all right let's take a quick look um i do want to get that open and get ready for the trailer because that's something that we're 100 percent buying all right let's get this untethered i want to pull this mower out we can put it right on the trailer i also want to look at the zero turns they have in here i'm going to do that and uh if i make a purchase you'll see it all right five grand later we have ourselves a zero turn they they were supposed to bring my trailer out. I gotta go back in. Hold on. All right, there we go. They brought it out finally. Let's get this truck hooked up to her. We are gonna come back and uh, take a look at these Sierras, or we're gonna take a look at these Sierras once we have the lawnmower loaded up and ready to go back to uh, back to base. Because none of this stuff's gonna be stored at the house, except maybe the the new mowers. I didn't open the. Oh jeez, it's a rough day today, boys. I'd have my coffee. I rushed out of the house. Oh, I was late for the first job. Didn't even get a chance to go to Grayson's and, and get my coffee. Coffee. so we're gonna have to stop there and uh and get it so we have enough energy for our next job which is like i said up on the hill uh the road directly across from the uh farm the farm from the home from the next job is directly across from our uh our shop so it should be a fairly easy day but i think now that we have this zero turn it's gonna make our lives just a little bit easier and the wheels on this thing are really really cool check that check those they're Michelin soft rides or so, I forget the name of them, but they're really cool. Very comfortable to ride on. Not a lot of bumps. It's going to take a lot to get used to the sensitivity of this one because this is a good, a good zero turn. So I'm excited. I'm excited to get rid of that uh, janky off brand, you know, not real lawnmower that I got. You know, the price me, the price says everything. This was five, a $5,000 lawnmower. This Honda wasn't cheap either. I got it on Facebook marketplace, but the three, it was three three for a thousand dollars so that wasn't really cheap all right now that we're all hooked up uh, let's take a look at these sierras real, real quick and see if we want to pull the trigger on any of them i definitely want to get a dually uh so i don't know if i want to get a duramax or not it's tough there's gonna be more gas more diesel less you know i do want one with a plow mount just in case none of these have a plow mount except for this one i think we're gonna go with this one so let's go in i'm gonna go ahead back in talk to the uh the guy and see what he wants for it all right so after a pretty long talk he wants 45k for that one in particular one next to it is a little bit less money for 30 33k i don't know we're gonna have to come back and make a decision after we drop our stuff off then we can decide we have we have spent quite a bit of money and we have quite a bit to give to the elm creek government thanks taxes so we're gonna lose about two hundred thousand dollars in taxes because of the property that we purchased which was expensive it's basically why we're gonna be broke <laughs> going into probably one of the busiest season bu busiest times of the year for a lawn mowing service which is good because we'll have we'll have money coming in but it's not like we had the disposable income that we once had 
the way we got our money, which I'm not going to disclose. All right, let me run and get my coffee so I can be a little bit more upbeat and maybe a little bit more there in the head. Hopefully no one steals the, the Ram. Just not in the mood for it today. And that's a good looking mower, ain't it? Ooh. Oh, look at this. Hold on a minute. Coffee can wait. International. This looks like it's mounted and ready to be a, a DOT plow. International Workstar. That's something. Is that for sale? I got to talk to the, the clerk inside. Get my coffee and then I'll come back and let you guys know. All right. So I was talking to the clerk. He said that, that, that this international has been here since the winter time with the for sale sign on. I didn't even see the for sale sign on the window. Man, that's something we got to look into. It's exp the, let me see the tag says $82,000. That's going to have to wait. All right. I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit excited for winter now. Even though we're in April and winter just ended, you know, listen, when you have a business like this, you get excited for the little things like that if i didn't if i failed to mention this in the last episode we are going to be mowing our old property here soon got a call from the old man the other day and uh well the other day being to, earlier this morning he called me around 6 a.m and asked me if I, if he wanted if i wanted to mow for him and i was like yeah of course i mowed that lawn for many many years so i am more than willing to do it and i'm gonna charge him out the because i know what it takes to mow that place but anyway, oh, it's been a day already. I'm going to throw in a little blooper at the end of this video to show you guys actually what goes into making videos like this. It can get frustrating, I'm not going to lie, because it's not all, you know, some people think that the maps are all set up like this. No, no, no. We set them up. The creators that do this type of series, we set up the, the map like this. Everything that we've placed has been placed by us. So that's just a little insight for you guys. All right, we're back. Back to the land of being a lawn man so we're gonna go ahead and i think we're gonna take the mowers off and throw them in here i like keeping the trailers in this little pole barn here well if you didn't hit my brain yet i'm still struggling all right we get the take those tethers out do this this all right come on john deere let's start it up back it off the trailer the door open we'll go in the little little door which i didn't close before we left oh the smooth brain in me look at this all right, we'll stick this here. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Oh, that's right. I do have to get up there. I, I, I am so sorry. Yep, let me get back on. Yep. All right. Thank you, man. No, no, that's my, that's, that's on me. I'll be there in about five minutes. Alrighty. All right, bye. Oh, so your boy forgot about that other job we had up on the hill, and I'm thinking we can go back and close the deal on the truck. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that's going to happen right now. We have to get up and get mowing, baby. Yep. And he's sitting out. Oh, he looks upset. All right. Here we go. Hey man, how you doing? Sorry I'm late. Got a little sidetracked. Been a rough morning. Just leave the truck running. Who cares? Let's get this going. This may be one that, uh... Where am I mowing, man? Just the front and a little... Up to the... Oh, just this patch right here? Up to the edge? Oh, that's not too bad. Alright, let's do it. This is gonna be one... Where we put the AirPods in. And I'll see you guys after the job is done. Actually, I want to get this first first run oh yeah Ooh, it's so smooth i will say though before we take off and go into time lapse mode this, this mower is great well worth the five grand let's go to time lapse mode like that we are done it's a very quick job i'm not gonna lie but a lot easier than i thought i cut a little bit too far but getting used to this is hasn't been very easy all right let me go talk to my man get the payment and uh see what uh what's next all right man you're all we're all good all ready to go yeah i'm sorry i apologize for being late how much all right that's that's fair you know i was an hour late no, no, it's all right. I appreciate it. You have a good one. All right, we settled on $205 for that job. He wants me to come back and do the rest of this um, in a couple of weeks. All right, we're on our way back now from that last job. I'm going to drop the trailer off, and I'm going to head into to the dealer, see if we could pick up that seat GMC. Give me a call, so he's going to send out a shuttle for me. I think we're going to make a deal today. The taxes didn't hit when we were working, so we have a little bit more time to buy some stuff. And I think we're going to come, come back home. Our dog is just having a death wish there. We're going to uh, come back home. We have a lot of time left today. We have until five, so we can do some more jobs. I'm just going to drop this trailer right here. Let's get everything. You know what? 
we'll just turn it off right here i'll wait for the, the shuttle all right the shuttle's here i will see you guys when i get into town shuttle just dropped me off i was settling on either the gas dually or the duramax dually so the duramax one is 45.50 45.5 the gas one is 35.5 so you're paying ten thousand dollars more for diesel i think i'm gonna go with this one more bang for our buck does it have a trailer hitch they all do i think believe yes they all do this one isn't a dually that's kind of a no-go for me right now so we're gonna take this one i'm gonna go make a deal when you come back we'll be forty-five thousand dollars less rate have forty-five thousand dollars less money in our bank account all right my friends all right and just like that we are the owners of a brand new gmc sierra duramax dually Let's bring this bad boy back, back home. This is our new rig. This is the new mowing rig. All our jobs are going to be taken in this. The Ram is officially retired. Retired for me. Uh, I'm thinking later today, actually, since we don't have anything lined up right now job-wise. Unless I get a call. Um, we're going to do some, re some applications and then set some of these guys up with vehicles. So I think that'll be fun. Um... This, the GMs, the Silverado has been sitting there untouched for a while. I think whoever gets the first, gets hired with me first is going to take that Silverado on their jobs. Which unfortunately I have to give them push mowers because I can't afford to buy more than one zero turn right now. Because we're about to have no money. Should hit, I think the tax is going to hit around, around 3.30. So that's going to be awful. Oh, listen to that thing. A nice interior too. Apple CarPlay in there. Listen to some tunes, which will most likely be some really, really aggressive metal. I may be the only lawn mowing service owner that blasts metal while working. It's just, it pumps me up. It gets me ready to work, you know? Ugh. And we've been going all day. I need another cup of coffee and something to eat. Oh, we're getting a phone call. Hello. Okay. Yeah, I could definitely do that. When do you need me? April 9th. Oh, that's amazing. That's an amazing offer. Well, thank you for the opportunity. That really... All right. Thank you, sir. I will see you on the 9th. Yes. Right outside Redford Park. Absolutely. You have a good one now. All righty. As you're never going to believe what that call was, that was the owner of the lot that Redford Park is on right across the street here. Oh, uh oh. Right in front of us. On April 9th, we're mowing Redford Park, meaning we need to take out a bank loan and buy a big tractor. Oh my God, I'm excited. We actually get to make a big purchase. That's not just a vehicle like this or a trailer. And I'm gonna go back, once I get this trailer parked up, I'm gonna head back to the house, hop on the computer, read some applications. And if we don't get a job today, which I don't think we're going to, then we're just gonna grab since that is officially now a retired oh uh, we had some good times with you didn't we it's not retired i'll use it i'll use it again eventually but just leisurely drives let's head back home it's just across the street but remember guys we still have this just waiting in the wings all right guys well i read applications for a few hours didn't get any more phone calls uh, i'm gonna go lock up the shed across the street we're gonna run into town hit the gas station get some food and then that is gonna be the end of day two of our lawnmowers our lawn mowing service wasn't too exciting today didn't have many big jobs our biggest job is upcoming uh, we have to tend to this as well so that'll be an episode i have a couple interviews set up for tonight on zoom so that'll be fun i'll let you guys know about that whenever that happens actually tomorrow we're mowing this this place here but i want to thank you guys for, for watching if you remember remember if you're new to the channel make sure you like and subscribe helps me out a ton and if you want to see more farming simulator 2022 i definitely need to see those those views go up because this this series takes a lot to edit so i hope you guys enjoy if this one was a little disjointed a little bit less personal i apologize um personally just as i was portraying in the role play i have not slept i'm very very tired um had a really rough night hope you guys are doing well have a great weekend and I will see you guys all on Monday. Probably be playing some My Summer and then maybe jump into some console stuff. I don't know. I'm thinking Midnight Club LA. See you guys soon. Bye. Um. Um. Ah. Uh, I'm trying to get set up for this. It's so ridiculous.